Hi, in this video, we will see how to create a GitHub account and then how to log in GitHub account completely. So this is very simple and straightforward. If you don't have any GitHub account, then you must need to follow this step uh, to create a GitHub account and then you can use this GitHub account for your code version controlling. Okay, so let's get started. Before starting the tutorial, if you are new in our channel, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, now I'm going to start. So to create a GitHub account, at first we have to go github.com, this website, and once you are in this website, you will find this type of page. And over there in the top right side, there is two link on is sign in and a sign up. Uh, if you don't have any GitHub account, then we need to click on sign up on uh, this one, otherwise you will click on sign in to log in your account. So we don't have any GitHub account, we are thinking like that and then we will create on github account so at first click on sign up uh, this icon once you click sign up then you will find this job is create your account this is the main window to open an account okay so at first you have to put a username then email address then password and then you have to verify with some captcha so let me pick a username like for my case i'm taking my channel uh, username few steps and if it is not available it will show you that it's not available but it is showing that few stuff that is available and if that account is available then there will be this text and also green check and if it is not available like that suppose this channel is not available okay so at, at that time we need to put it unique so this is the must be unique so i'm typing my original channel name few steps and then you have to type your email address so here it is the email address of your account it might be google account or yahoo account or anything you just need to email the address of that account so i know my email address so i'm going to copying here from a few steps at gmail.com so i'll use this email to get my github account and then i'm putting it here but you have to type your own uh, email account over there and after that you have to choose a password but before uh, choosing a password at first we need to remember this thing uh, make sure it's at least 15 characters or at least eight characters including a number and a lowercase letter that means your if you don't uh, think about the password at first you have to think this thing 50 character, 15 characters so your password should be 15 characters and if you don't want 15 characters password then there is another option or this is the option okay eight characters including a number and a lowercase letter okay it should be eight characters and a number and a lowercase letter so i'm typing my password okay so if the password is okay and you will find that this uh, text is green that means my password is accepted okay and if it is regular then you have to format your password or you have to change your password based on this recommendation it should be either 15 characters long or this thing uh, the time when i'm making video right now this site has uh, this type of thing i mean this type of requirements to create a password uh, by the time when you launch it might be changed that's why i told you you have to read this line carefully okay so after that uh, there is a checkbox email preferences uh, send me occasional products update announcements and offers i don't like this so i am going to uncheck but if you want to get uh, like some promotional updates or announcements something like that you can check it but for me i don't need i unchecked it and then uh, it is showing that verify your account please solve this puzzle so we know you are a real person this is like captcha thing okay so what we have to do we have to click on verify but if you don't find this type of thing then there should be some character you have to type that character in the inbox but for me it is showing this thing so i have to solve this puzzle so click verify and once you verify button is clicked then you will find this thing and it will be some text and it will show you how to do and you have to do that thing otherwise you cannot create the account so here it is showing touch the arrow okay to roll the image that means you have to roll the image so if you click here it will roll okay and once it is fine then you will find a done button so and it is giving you this message this sort of message when the image is the correct way up does done okay so right now the if i again click but it's not the up right so if we click done it will not work so for me this is the up position uh, you might find some other 
capture like select the flower or which is the flower like there will be some flowers or there will be some car which is like flipped you have to uh, solve this thing you have to read the instruction okay so once you are completed that uh, then we have to click done button that means it's success and you'll find that's there is a tick mark that means it verified the capture and finally we have to choose a plan so I'm going to click the next select a plan this button to go to the next step uh, to create my account so once you are in this space you will find there are two types of github plan one is individual and team and each plan is type there is couple of category like if you click on team then you'll find different categories and if you click individual then like this individual means that personal use only like you and you will use this repository for your own purposes okay and team means you can actually work with couple of team okay and here the there are three options one is zero dollar nine dollar and twenty one which is team for open source team enterprise so if you use this one then you you cannot keep your code private okay it's showing you all the differences you can check all of them so it is written uh, i'm not going too much details because uh, this type of thing they keep changing okay so when you create your account you can uh, check those things and the thing is that you can always upgrade your uh, github account okay suppose you can start with zero dollar or team for open source this one and if future uh, if you think that you want to update your package or plan you can also do that anytime so i'll go for individual one and here there are two types of package one is free and pro so i will start free uh, I will not start pro but if you feel sometimes later that you need the pro package you can also do that and all the uh, differences between these two I mean what this package like free package will give you it is clearly mentioned about there and what uh, this pro package will give you uh, this will show, give you all the details so uh, this is the free package and here are the some of the features uh, you can check unlimited public repository then unlimited private so basically we need these two which is very nice and limited to three collaborators for private repositories okay this is also fine like three people can work together and 2000 total action minutes per month okay and then 500 megabyte package like something or many things is there okay so uh, at the beginning this package is fine so i'm going to choose this package choose free and once you click the free package then here it will give you the welcome message okay it is showing welcome to github wahoo you have joined millions of developers like this what kind of or do you do mainly and there are something like that and how much programming experience do you have like this and there are many things you can actually put this thing this is not a uh, mandatory uh, but if you wish you can do uh, but i am not choosing anything because uh, i don't like those two thing to choose and then finally there will be on a step complete setup or skip this step you can do that so i'm going to skip this step because i don't want to set up this thing and then like it will give you on confirmation message that your con account is like partially complete did not come uh, not completely because we need to verify our email address and it showed me that it sent me on verification instruction on my gmail account so we have to uh, go to our gmail account to check whether we got uh, any email and if we find any email then we have to verify otherwise uh, there are two options one is recent verification email or change your email settings suppose if you don't get the verification you can click here and then you will get the verification email or if you want to change your email address to get the verification email you can also do that by clicking this button so let's go to our gmail and check whether we get any uh, github email or not so i'm going to open my gmail and we see that uh, github uh, they send me on email and here it is the details github please verify your email address so this is my github account uh, email and you're showing almost done uh, to complete github sign up we just need to verify your email address so what we have to do we have to click here verify email address and it will verify our email address so i'm going to click verify and then it will open a new window and it's showing that your email all verified and successfully we are able to sign up the github account now here from this account we can do many things we can create a repository or we can create an organization or start learning if we want to check some tutorial we can also go there this is a very good resource uh, i will say because i learned most of the github resources how it is working from here but you can also watch some other tutorials 
like there are many sites but i prefer uh, this tutorial best and here in the top uh, right corner you will find your profile icon if you click here it will come a drop down like uh, signed in as few steps that means your username and you can change your status something like that uh, what is happening something busy if you put busy there will be message you can also customize this thing okay you can also put some other thing like this way. okay uh, i mean you can change your status and then you can check your profile then uh, if you click the profile it will show you all the profile like your icon you can also change this thing then total repositories how many ports i did and so on and there are some other things also your repositories actually if you click here it will come the same type of page okay so basically if you click my profile it will show you all the details and here you can edit your profile and you can also check everything everything you can do okay and here there is another one uh, there is repository it will show you only uh, the current repository basically it is going to there and this is the overview that is a front page of your profile and repositories so basically uh, these are sometimes uh, you might need but i'll show you uh, the best thing uh, which we actually use a uh, github uh, i mean which menu we generally use uh, this type of menus we use just one two times but most of the time what we do we have to go here and then we have to click uh, repositories if you come this repository you will see all the list of repositories and from there you can create a new repositories so to create new repository you can click new and then it will open this thing and then you can type something and then you can hit this create repository it will create a uh, repository but there are two options public private you can choose public means everybody can see your code and private means only you will be able to see the code once you create uh, there will be some url uh, in this tutorial i'll not show but in future tutorial i will show you how to use github uh, very summarized way okay you can still use uh, this thing uh, but i'm showing you the graphical things now and there are some gist so this is basically here you can create some gist and you can share this code with other people some small block of code uh, this is very uh, useful and most of the time inter during interview time some people ask do you have any idea about this then you have to uh, tell uh, how we can share code in github something like that so this is some answer so if you have time just explore what is gist you can google it and you can find it so if you uh, just quickly uh, google it what is gist and you'll find this type of thing uh, like and this is the github gist and it is showing that instantly share your code notes and snippets so that means you can write some lines of code and you can instantly share with other people so when you click gist basically the url will change you will see uh, see in the top gist.github.com okay it changed the url okay so right now we are not in github account I mean we are in github but we are subdomain of gist okay so to switch back we have to again click here and then we have to click your github profile if we click that then we'll switch to the old profile i mean the previous profile not old the previous profile and and there are some other things like uh, feature preview help setting sign out help means uh, if you want to learn something this is basically the github tutorial or details everything you can actually explore those things okay and once you have everything is done then we can uh, go back to our github dot account and this is more or less so basically in this way you can easily create a github account and then after that you can uh, explore all the menus and then you can also create repository and also you can share your code blocks using this so these are the most important things uh, after creating the github and in real life you will use those things a lot uh, which i showed you but these things it feels very simple and easy and when we will actually do actual coding and then at that time we have to uh, save our code to repository or sometimes we have to pull our code from repository to our local at the time uh, this types menu is very useful uh, but before that uh, i just give you a brief idea in my later tutorial i will try to show you how to use git uh, and then after that i will show you how to use git and github uh, altogether okay thank you for watching hopefully uh, you will be able to create your own github account and uh, if you don't uh, if you face any problem or if you don't able to create any account just put in the comment section and uh, at last thank you for watching my video and if you want more like this type of videos please like comment and subscribe to our channel to support us thank you